Hello and welcome to Glaze Brook. I am Pizza Club Farming. Um, today we're going to be doing a little plowing and getting the fields ready for the next harvest. And I also do have a uh, another field ready for harvest. I've already gone through and set up the map the way that I wanted to and got rid of the starting equipment and stuff like that. You can see that we own these fields down here plus the sheep farm and I hope to someday, sometime be moving to the horse farm the, and that's about it for right now and we're just going to start expanding our farm from this area here and see where it goes so you can see that 15 and 13 have been harvested already and 14 is ready and the edges of all the fields need to be plowed up so I'm gonna harvest 14 and then take care of that And you gotta turn the header on before you can do anything. So I don't plan on doing cows right now. So I'm not gonna worry about getting the straw from the barley. This is more just about getting it cleared off. And... Going from there. So this is my first video for YouTube. Uh, let me know what you all think. I'm like I said, this is a big step for me to try to get out there and do something like this. And I'm sure they're all not going to be perfect at first, but I hope to get better over time. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this field up, and then I will come back in. And I'm either unloading or it's finished. Hello and welcome back. I just had to run over and grab the trailer. Um, the harvester got full barley. So we just need to get that emptied and then start harvesting again. I'm sure as you all can tell that I am a fan of older case stuff. Thank God for no uh, hedge collisions. <laughs> case just seems to be my favorite type of tractor so that's what I chose to use for this farm let me know what you guys like I, I know there's a lot of John Deere fans out there and stuff like that since I play on PS4 I try to not use a lot of John Deere because the slot counts um, even though I know that that case international uh, 1455 extra large XL um, does have a higher slot count it's just my favorite tractor in real life actually too so uh, yeah so we're just gonna get back at it at uh, harvest in the barley here again like I said I don't need the straw for right now I think after this we will actually go over and I've put down one of the small chicken coops it only takes like six chickens I think we're gonna buy some chickens so we can start making some profit on some eggs
gonna finish this strip up here, and then I'll run over and get the tractor. And before we um, put the barley into the silo, we'll go ahead and uh, pick out the chickens and um, feed them some barley, and so they can start making eggs. this over here, get the pipe out so it's ready to go, and again, like I said, if there's something you all don't like that I'm doing, please just let me know, I'm completely and totally new to this, and I'm trying my best to have the confidence. I hope there's fans out there of older international stuff that may like this. I maybe you like the map. Steve's mods did a wonderful job on this map. It's probably one of my favorites. It's been released here recently. Decent amount off the field. I said we'll drive over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out the chickens. And then we will dump the rest of this into the silo. Let's see how good I am at backing up trailers. Truth be told, I'm not that great at it. And turn it off for right now. Like I said, it was a very small amount. And feed them some barley. There you go. Of course, start it first. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and back this in here. I guess it doesn't do good to be inside the silo. This is such a nice tractor though. I do love it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the harvester away and stuff, and then I'll come back when we are getting ready to plow the field. And I'm back. Just like I said, we just need to take this around the edges here, plow all this up. Yeah, I know, I should probably lift the plow as I'm turning for more realistic play. Uh, I have a hard time sometimes playing realistically. But do my best to try to. Um, I mean, I'm already going against it a little bit, considering this plow takes 180 horsepower to pull, and this tractor's only 145. But this plow has that nice little trick to where if you turn it backwards, you can pull it with any horsepower. It is by far the best plow in the game, as on mod, on the mod hub. I absolutely love it. It's the only one I use in all my gameplay series. So I'm sure some of you are wondering why 
I go with the name Pizza Club. Well, I've never met a person who doesn't like pizza. <laughs> and it's my favorite food. And it just fit with what I wanted to do. I actually got the idea. I'm a big wrestling fan also. And there's a group called the Bullet Club. So I basically just took their name from them and added pizza to it. Real nice and simple. Once I get around to the edge here, I'm going to go ahead and check the map and make sure that's all that needs to be plowed on this field. And I'm sure it's going to need lime, which I just realized that I forgot to buy a lime spreader. So we'll have to go up to the store and um, get one. I think I have a modded one in. That will do pretty good for us here. This tractor should be able to pull it without any issues. Go ahead and see what the map says. Oh, it looks like there's one more place down there in the corner that I need to get. Go ahead and lift this. And I think it should just be right through here. Turn on some lights, maybe that'll help some. Let's check again. And still says I'm missing a spot. Must be over here. May as well just go right up this side just so I know for sure that it's good. Check it. Oh yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna head over to the next field, just cut through the field here. And this one should be nice and simple. Start this way. Let me jump out and shut this gate so I don't run into it. Maybe shut the gate. Please? There we go. Drop the plow down. And back at it. hire a worker. They can't trust them to do a good enough job. And then after this we should only we should just have one more field left to do. It should be that one over to the right. I may have got my fields mixed up.
go ahead and check the map. Yep, 14 is good. And now we are on to 13. Just back up here, run up here, open the gate. As you can see, I've already got some lime seeds and liquid fertilizer down here from the Quiet Hitman a mod. I uh, I don't plan on to do any solid fertilizer, liquid only. And then whenever I do move over to the grass field next to the sheep pasture, my hope is to only do manure spreading on grass fields. So that's kind of what I like to do with the grass fields. I'm not really quite sure why, but I guess everyone has their own little things that they like to do. Open the gate. Drop the plow down. I am definitely a fan of these smaller British fields. I know they're not for everyone, but it just suits my gameplay well. And I'm sure I'm going to have to come back down this side again with the plow since I won't be able to cover all the area. I'll just lift this up. Turn it around here and just hit it to be sure. Check the map. Alright, we are good with the plowing. So I'm gonna go and drop this off, and then I will see you all back up at the store when I am buying the uh, line spreader. I'll just drive through the hedges some more. Okay, we're just cool at the end of the shop here. And I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you all how nice the shop looks again. This map is wonderful. Steve Mods has done a great job with it. Um, if you do like to play on this style of map, I do recommend this one. Uh, I do understand it is what all what everyone likes. So basically, you just open this door here, and then you should go through here and just the detail like I said I know I said I wasn't a big John Deere fan but I absolutely love the old tractors on the wall and just the little details that went into it alright so let's go over here to the shop icon and head over to fertilizer and line technology and it looks like we have just enough for the one that I want to get so we're gonna go ahead and go with a red for the main color black and black for the frame and I think we'll just keep the standard tires on there those will work well for us right. and of course I tried to buy it twice okay Oh, 
behind the counter. Okay, let's just circle back around here again. That's it. Shut the door. So this obviously is a static tractor that you can go through. But this is over here is the shop's telehander that we actually get to use. So of course it is a John Deere. Let's run out here and uh, pick up our f spreader. I do apologize if you guys hear some rustling in the background. I do own four cats, and one of them is a kitten who likes to play a lot. She's about eight months old, I believe. So, her play drive is through the roof at all times. I'm just going to pass this car here. Pulling back into the farm here. We're gonna go over here and get this thing filled up with lime. And then we'll start we'll go around the edges that we plow. We don't have to worry about cultivating because the cedar that I have bought is a direct drill. And of course you were gonna take from the bottom pallet, because that's realistic. here and check on our chickens. Hello. Here while we're at it I can why that's silly I can actually show you the planter cedar this is the Kerberlin. It does all the crops in game. It is the uh, modded one. This is the modded coon sprayers where I can make them whatever color I want it. I have another International 1455XL with a stole front loader and the big bag handler on it. I also have a case telehander with the big bag on it. And then the bucket for it is over here. Let's see if that's still filming. Get this film again. I have the Lizard F100 with A2 Studios Auto Load Bale Trailer. To me, it's the best gooseneck trailer in the game right now. Um, I believe that's all the equipment that I have over here. I also have some over at the sheep farm. I don't understand what the pallets are doing, but. Okay, they have a mine of their own.
I hope I bought enough to get us through this field here. You know, these three fields, with it being the edges, it should be. This uh, spreader doesn't like to use a lot of line. It's pretty much the only one I use on the games now. And if you all have any recommendations, I'm probably set it and just have forgotten for me to have a better gameplay, stuff that you would try, or whatever. I'm open to any criticism and stuff as long as it's positive, instructive, and I will try to take any advice I can get. Like I said, you know, I want to make something that everybody enjoys for all ages, and get ready for Farm Sim 22 to come out. Hopefully by then, PS5s are easier to get. Are off actually when I take the turns, but you know. So I'm going to um, actually keep you all in for this. This shouldn't take too long. I think we're actually going to do all three of the fields with soybeans and just do a big soybean harvest that I can just sell off right away and hopefully make some good profit on. There. I mean, they're known as money beans for a reason. <laughs> Actually, let me just uh, bump that cruise control up. And then let's just check the tank. Mm -hmm. Sweet beans are actually pretty good. So yeah, I think we'll go with soybeans. Uh, I'm gonna have to double back there. Go ahead and turn that off and just turn around because I know I missed some stuff there and it's gonna... My OCD will go crazy if I don't hit it. Probably actually just go ahead and knock this into the fuel out. Because there's a little spot over there I can tell I missed. Turn it off right now. Let's look at the map and see what it where it needs to be limed still. Ah, oh, just that little oh, corner over here. It looks like I hired a worker again. Not meaning to. spot actually over in that back corner. It probably wouldn't matter to, to you all, but to me it will drive crazy. And we'll actually just go out this exit over here from this field and head down to the next one. Such a little spot. I don't know how. Left the gate open. Just swing it in here.
I should probably get over some more, not waste so much line. It is pretty expensive. Well, it can be. Quiet Hitman's pack is actually the best price that I have found for line in a pallet form. Shut that off. How's it look? One little spot right there. And then this field is good. Try through the hedge again. That's just a sharp turn to make in this tractor. Can't see. Just pop this in. So I think that's actually going to do it for me today. Uh, I'm not sure how long of a video this is. If it's on the short side, I am sorry. Uh, like I said, just trying to get my feet wet and get my bearings into this. and I'm sure they'll get better as I get more and more experience with this. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you would do me a favor and hit the like, it'd be graciously appreciated. And I hope you all enjoy your day. Have a good one.